subject. And there he is, Dr. Carl Schuker. Hello, Carl. Hello. Let's just uh, establish your credentials. You're a professional zoologist, That's yes? Right, yes. And also, look, in this sort of pen, we're occupied by goats and sheep and goodness knows what else. <laughs> you wrote that, uh, what, in 1989, I think That's it was, right, wasn't it? Yes, yep. New, new edition the, on the world. Mystery Cat to the World. So, so you really do know what you're talking about. And let's kick off with the fascinating story at the moment that uh, the government are now spending about £8,000 on. That's right. Thanks, Nigel. You believe that that is exactly what is roaming the, be the, the, the Bodmin Moor, yeah? About seven feet long, a black panel, so the old black version of the left, but based yeah. upon reliable eyewitness accounts, yeah. that is what they're seeing. Yeah, okay, good. Now, what makes you think that it is actually a panther? I mean, the cynics will say, well, hold on, it's just a large black cat. That's true, and probably some of the sightings are just that, but others of them, some of the videos, you can see the scaling of the trees and the, the background foliage and whatever, that we've got a very large animal, much larger than any domestic cat. If it is a panther, where does it come from? Where does it go at night? How, how does it stay unseen? Well, first of all, where it came from is undoubtedly either a deliberate released pet or an SKP. Cats are very good at escaping. Black panthers, puma, these big cats are being kept as pets. Mm. Uh, as far as where it is at the moment, the moor is absolutely huge. Mm. How it can live there, plenty of deer, rabbits, birds. It could literally live there forever, virtually undetected. It, it can tell humans are coming literally a mile away. So it has all the advantages. Well, we've got professional sighting scenes. We've been trying to track it's extraordinary it's escape real detection isn't it well in take the puma for example which is the same size similar type of animal in its native north america people who professionally hunt it never see the puma mm. until yeah. their dogs have actually treed them i mean i know it's a daft thing to say but if you actually did get near this in the wild yeah you would not want to approach this would no you? in a word no you would keep well away from it observe it but whatever you do don't do anything stupid and certainly don't attract its attention that is seven foot long yeah yeah, yeah. okay thanks Mike. <laughs> You are clutching an ominous footprint. I am indeed, yeah. Let's have a look at this footprint. What, what exactly is all this about? Well, that came from Exmoor, the other main hotbed of big, bed, big cat activity in Britain, and that is almost certainly a lynx, at the very least a lynx, possibly a small puma. It's typically cat-shaped, but the size of it, again, much bigger than a normal domestic cat. Well, what's fascinating is, I mean, to say that... To say there's not a natural habitat for a lynx and a puma is understating it. True. And how, how would a lynx get there? Again, an animal release... That's right. Oh, Maybe the, illegally. This is the problem. If they've been um, kept illegally, there are no licenses, there are no regulations, no, no written evidence that they ever existed. So therefore, if they escape, the owners are not going to attract attention to the fact. Yes. They're going to just forget all about it. Mm. And you've done a study of, of, of strange sightings all over the world. I think we look at one or two illustrations, actually. That's and if right, you take yeah. us through them uh, one by one, Carl. Now, here we go. What's that? Well, that is a jungle cat from <coughs> India, normally. Having said that, this particular specimen was killed by a car in Ludlow, Shropshire, in 1989. Yeah. Again, about three and a half to four feet long, not native to Britain, not native to Europe. Again, an SKP or a release, its origin has never been found. Really? I mean, it's extraordinary, isn't it, 1995, that mysteries still abound with, yes, with, with, with this cat. this is true, yeah. Let's have, uh, a look, let's have a look at uh, another illustration of what you may have found, uh, what you have found, in fact. That, uh, that's a that beauty, is, isn't that it? That is a Absolute beautiful beauty. cat. That's what's known, again, as a leopard cat from India. Not a leopard, a, a smaller cat, but again, not native to Britain. And five of these have turned up since the 1980s. The Isle of Wight, Scotland, one was shot on... What are, are they being rowed in, dropped in by a parachute? <laughs> Are they burrowing under, under the channel tunnel? What are they doing? It's How are they getting in? It shows that a lot more people are keeping these animals than we previously realised. It's yeah. just, they're, they're not keeping goldfish or, or frogs or whatever, they're keeping exotic animals. Yeah, we've got another one? That, we go. that is a, a puma. 1980, a uh, farmer in the Highlands of Scotland uh, was complaining to the police that a big cat was stalking his uh, sheep and calves. No one would believe him. He set a cage. A few weeks later, he caught a live puma. You see, nobody could domesticate that fellow. So we're not talking pets, are we? We cannot be talking pets. You cannot domesticate You can't domesticate them. But they would be fairly <coughs> the same. I think this is one of the reasons we're not getting attacked to people by these animals, because they're acclimatised to humans. They associate them with, with being fed and, 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 and general normal behaviour, not like a wild puma would be. And that's why I think people are seeing them, but they aren't attacked. They're not proven to be dangerous. Mm. I mean, we are used to thinking, aren't we, when we talk about puma, leopard, whatever, that they are dangerous. But what is your theory on, the, on, on animal behaviour? Are they dangerous if we are dangerous to them? Exactly. If they perceive us to be dangerous to yes. them, they're dangerous. Oh, yeah? no doubt about that. I mean, if some, some idiot went with a gun to try and shoot them, or a child innocently throwing stones or pebbles, that's when problems can, can arise. But have we trained them genetically to be dangerous? In other words, receive knowledge through the centuries of these animals. And there's now considerable evidence that genetic knowledge of that sort is passed on. 
through it's the possibility. placenta almost. It's, it's a somewhat uncomfortable possibility, <laughs> which is why I don't want to push things over the balance by um, people acting idiot idiotically, going out, as I said, shooting them, trying to trap them, doing all sorts of things like that. We could tip the balance and then yes. it could I mean, if become nasty. Yes, I mean, if was found, you got this horrible suspicion in the first instance is to shoot it and then shove it in a glass case. You hope that's wrong, yes? Of course, yes. Yeah. I mean, apart from the, the, the moral side of things, if you shoot a black panther or something and you don't kill it outright, you simply wound it and he gets away, you've really got a dangerous animal. You've really got it, right? Really. Do you, you sense that this panther, it, I mean, let's still say, add the caveat, if it exists, is raiding domestic homes, uh, etc.? And maybe they think, oh, it's a fox. It's possible, because again, as they're acclimatised yeah. to humans, they would be less timid of them than, than, yeah. than normal, true wild humans right. or wild animals. I think we've got one more illustration, have we? Can we have a look? No. Yeah. Oh, crikey. A lynx, yeah. That's Beautiful where, lynx. That's yeah. where we normally see them behind bars in Britain. But again, in Scotland, 1927, we showed this isn't a modern phenomenon, the big cat phenomenon. 1927, one was actually caught. Uh, shot in, and at that time, sent to London Zoo for identification. Interestingly, the body apparently disappeared. London Zoo don't have a record of it, but the newspapers at the time record the, the, the shooting of it. So somewhere in transit, the body Spooky. of the lynx disappeared. Spooky stuff. Let's yeah. end with the thought that, that you... OK, odds on, do you really believe that the beast of Bodmin A exists and is B the panther, the black panther? A certainly it exists. B, I think it's, uh, it's very probable that there is at least one black panther here. Yeah. OK. <laughs> okay, Carl, thanks for that, and thanks for taking us through the cat sightings, and thanks also My pleasure. for that caveat, is if ever we do see them, let's treat them with, with dignity. With respect, and leave with them alone. With respect, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I don't think it'll happen, Carl. I'm, you know what homo sapiens is like, but thanks, thanks for your contributions today. You're welcome. Carl. Do you want your footprint back? I think so, yes. <laughs>